It's interesting when you say that about men, because I don't know why immediately it came to mind Ron Jeremy. And obviously before the sexual assault yeah. allegations came out and he ended up in jail. Yeah. Um, you he know, people- as a hero. Yeah. I mean, I, and I think, <sighs> like, I think we can all agree that he's not particularly attractive. No, he's disgusting. He's But yeah. like guys, I think guys love that about him because yes. it was like, oh my God, this guy's not attractive, yet he gets all these women. Mm-hmm. Like, he's my hero. Yes. Whereas if you're, God forbid, should you be- what someone might consider an unattractive porn mm-hmm. star as a female, like mm-hmm. not the same. Yeah, no, I do consider myself one of the more non-attractive female porn oh, no. stars. Uh, I always say like, I didn't have like a rise to fame. I had like a very like slow burn of like, I just never went away. And people were like, well, I guess she's still here. <laughs> you know, so, so I just kind of gained fame by never leaving, but I certainly <laughs> didn't do it by being like this like beautiful new bombshell <laughs> coming onto the scene. And I didn't start out being sexy either. I had to learn sexuality in porn. Like mm. I got into porn strictly for like, I needed some finances like set my way so I could really pursue my comedy career. And I was super awkward on set and just not sexy. And I remember I got with a, when I got with Kendra Lust as my agent, this was several years God, ago. That was forever ago yeah. that she had an agent. Yeah. But she had said to me, she goes, I want you, because she goes, the reason you're not working as much is because you don't sell sexy. She was like, I want you to watch some of the bigger porn stars and some of their porns and watch what they're doing versus what you're doing. And that was so huge for me because no one had ever given me that kind of a feedback before. I didn't know I wasn't sexy. <laughs> so that was no news to me. <laughs> so, so I did go and I started watching other women that were selling really well. And I was like, she's right. They are giving more eye contact. They're talking more. They're doing different things than I was doing. I was mm-hmm. very scared to be sexual. Mm-hmm. And I was afraid for anyone to know I was sexual also. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I like found that sexual energy and like changed like how I performed and started acting in scenes as opposed to just being like there having sex with somebody for money. Um, and it kind of like changed my porn career around, but yeah. Wow. (laughs) That's amazing. Yeah. Then I kind of gained a little bit of success there. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I think guys really want to watch a girl that looks like they're enjoying themselves. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, I mean, it got me nominated for MILF Performer of the Year four times, you know, so that's fun. Got me playing with the big girls in the league. So Mm -hmm. that was fun. Yeah. yeah. So you came in at 30. Yeah. So kind of tell us like specifically, because you you did say that you were doing comedy. So like why specifically did you come in? And do you feel like it was a good move that you came in later? 110%. A very good move coming in later in life. And I kind of wish that we had at least a 25 age year start instead of 18, Mm -hmm. because I think it's really hard for some of these girls to come in without any knowledge of the real world before getting into porn. I think Mm -hmm. you should have some kind of real world knowledge. You should have to show up on time for a job (laughs) five days a week, work a 40 hour week and know how great it is to have a porn schedule. I think a lot of these people who come in don't really have any kind of work ethic Mm -hmm. um, around them. And that's hard, nor do they know what normal people make for salaries and Mm -hmm. kind of what we're getting is above and beyond and to save it and save for your future and deal with those economics. But, um, yeah, I'm so thankful I came in with real world knowledge coming in at 30 changed a lot, but I will say I still came in completely, um, naive to everything. I didn't really know what porn had to offer. I actually, was living in LA doing two different jobs, just trying to make my way as a comic. Um, but wasn't really doing any comedy because I was working so much just to stay afloat. Mm -hmm. I was in a total culture shock coming from Kansas city where I had a beautiful two bedroom apartment for $600 a month. And then I came out here and I had a studio for in a Cracker Jack box for 1800, you know, and just a shell shock of what it was. You couldn't even get that nowadays. Yeah. No, no way. Rent's insane. It's crazy. So it was complete shell shock. And I had a girlfriend who lived in Kansas city with me. Um, and she wanted to come out and do porn. That was like her goal forever, as long as I've known her. And at 22, she came out and she lived with me in my little studio apartment. And I saw her make like 10 grand her first week. And I was like, okay, 
if she can make 10 grand a week, like I am getting into this, like there's just no way I'm not. So I yeah. called my parents because I'm close with my family, really yeah. close. I called my parents. And I was like, this is what I'm doing. Like, don't worry. Don't freak out. Like there's a lot of money involved. Like I'm doing it business wise. You know, I'm coming in business minded and, uh, that's exactly what I did. And How I, did they react? not well, my mom is super religious. Ooh. Yeah. And still is. I mean, she could quote you the entire Bible if you would let her. Um, and my dad, my parents are divorced, which is uh-huh. great. My dad, of course, wishes I didn't. Um, but now, uh, I think he's more proud of what I've accomplished with it, that I didn't kind of go off the rails and, we were talking before this podcast, I have struggled with drug addiction in my past and I've struggled with depression and suicide and all those things. So I think more than anything, my father was worried about my mental health going into something like Mm this. Um, but again, it made me stronger, made me wiser, made me a better person, made me a better businesswoman. And I think my family now sees that. And as much as my mom still doesn't even want to like accept it, she doesn't tell people what I do. She tells people I'm an, uh, a model and that's where she leaves it, I you mean, know? So you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, but my father at this point has gotten to a place of proud. Mm-hmm. He sees what I've done and isn't like afraid to tell people what I do. And he tells people about my comedy, which I talk about porn in my comedy. Mm-hmm. So, um, they're supportive now. My dad is for mm-hmm. sure. My brother just started working for me actually. So, wow. yeah, I have an older brother who does mortgages in Kansas city and now he's managing my comedy career. So that's amazing. Yeah. 